Regrettably, this is another example of pay to play. And city workers charged with a kickback scheme that ripped you off for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Good evening. Two men who work for the city of Albuquerque are accused in a scheme that involves car parts. Investigators believe they took bribes from vendors that went unnoticed for years. News 13's Maria Medina joins us live in northwest Albuquerque with more. And just behind me is just one facility where city workers can get their vehicles repaired. But investigators say instead of fixing cars, two city workers were fixing their wallets. So far, police have made those two arrests in the alleged kickback scheme involving vendors who sold parts to them. They worked for the city's maintenance fleet. We've learned the city employees promised certain vendors business if they could get 5% of the cut. They get that kickback in the form of gift cards. Now, Ruben Matoya is one of those suspects. He appeared before a Metro Court judge today on charges of conspiracy and two counts of soliciting and receiving illegal kickbacks. He worked at the facility at Pino and I-25. We've also learned the other employee arrested is Ralph Garcia, who worked at the facility here on 6th and Aspen. Police say they were tipped off by local business owners. This is a very solid case. It does include irrefutable evidence, including video evidence of hand-to-hand -hand transactions as basically a pay-to-play type investigation. They were trying to do business the legitimate way, uh, the right way, and they were being pushed out because of other companies who were engaging in kickbacks. And investigators just finished removing evidence from inside the facility this afternoon. They were looking for any computer records or documents. Now, investigators say this is just the beginning of the investigation and that more charges and arrests could be made. Back to you. Okay, Maria, the city placed Ruben Montoya and Ralph Garcia on paid leave. After the criminal investigation, the city will conduct its own internal investigation into what happened.